Alright, so let's take a minute to take a, um, a glance at a few more Poisson problems. And remembering that we bracket that as x, meaning the number of successes we're looking for, and lambda being the average or the mean number. So, at a very popular whale watching spot, there have been there, sorry, bad language. There have been uh, 20,000 sightings since 1980. Assume the number of sightings per year can be modeled by the Poisson distribution. So here they're just telling me I can assume that. So I have to assume that independent can't have more than one at a time. The rate is constant throughout the period of time. And what else was it? Uh, it is random, so seeing the whales is random. So it's meeting all four of those criteria. And we need to figure out then the information. So remember with Poisson we're always looking for the time or the rate. And in this case, um, that's interesting, that's been given to us as something we have to decipher. So if there have been 20,000 sightings since 1980, how many sightings on average per year is that? So we could say 20, oops, 20,000 since 1980. Well, 2014 to 1980. Sorry if you're watching this video and it's not 2014, you'll have to pretend. Um, that's 34 years that has passed. So if we want to figure out on average here, the number of sightings, we're going to go 20,000 divided by the number of years, which in this case is 34. And uh, I'm just going to do that here in my calculator. You can put in a number, 20,000, which is where the lambda or the mu is on your calculator, divided by 34. And so I get that number there, that's roughly 588.23. That's what our lambda is going to be for a year. So again, here we're saying we can assume that it can be Poisson. So to figure out the average number of sightings, we would just divide the total by the amount of time that's gone by. So what's the probability that there are 18 sighting, 80 sightings in one year? So if we're dealing with year and our lambdas in year, we can use that lambda of roughly 588, and that's a year. 80 sightings is precise, it's exactly 80 sightings, so 80 comma 588 point all the rest of the stuff. So here I'm in PD, I'm going to go change that to 80, and I'm just going to leave that as I did. Again, if you want to watch to be more precise, I would just put that fraction directly in there. 20,000 divided by 34 gets me that. Execute. Zero. Well, that's weird. But that's okay. What they're saying is that that number is so ridiculously, stupidly small that there's no point in writing out the decimal for it. You might as well just call it zero. So we're saying here, if on average we get 588 whale sightings a year, the probability of only seeing 80 of them in one year is pretty much completely unlikely. Now that doesn't account for Japanese whaling ships or other interesting things that might come along and um, wipe out all the whales in one year, but um, we're just saying if all circumstances go by normal, we would not expect to see only 80 in one year. Right, so what is the probability of 20 whale sightings in one week? Okay, so here we have to deal with a different time frame. Currently we were talking about a year, but we need to deal with a week. So, if I use this and kind of think about that as about if you wanted to round, you could, about 588 per year, just so we don't have to deal with the decimal. Well, how many weeks are there in a year? You've got 52 weeks in a year, so 588 divided by 52 is going to give me my lambda for one week. So, if I want to find out the probability, precisely, of exactly 20 whale sightings in one week, that's the number I'm going to put in there, the 588 divided by 20. So, let's try that out. 20 sightings, 588 divided by 52. 
that's roughly 11.3. But again, if you just put it in like I did as a divide, it saves you the rounding. And here I get a really small number, but not too small. So that negative 3, again, means I have to move that decimal three spots over. 1, 2, 3. So if I have 5, 8, 9, 5, move it over 1, 2, 3 spots, fill in the gaps with zeros. So that's 0 0.005895. Another way we could write that if you want is 5.895 times 10 to the negative 3. Change that e to a times 10 to the, and that'll work. Okay, so what is the probability of one whale sighting in one day? Well, we've dropped down from a year to a week and now to a day. So let's go back to that idea that there are 588 in a year. And I know I've got roughly 365 in a day. So that should be our lambda for one day. So here, looking at one whale sighting. Oops. One whale sighting in one day, that's going to be 588 divided by 365. So roughly 1.61. enter. And here I get a probability of 0 0.3217. So what is the probability of more than 60 whale sightings in one year? Okay, so here we can use our trick for kind of sketching out the possibilities we're looking at. So 60, 61, 62, 59, putting down the numbers around 60. More than 60 does not include 60, it's everything above 60. And the dot is always to the left. So, I know that in my calculator I'm going to use Poisson. This time I'm using the range, because I'm not looking for just one option, I'm looking for lots of them. Bracket 60. And for one year, again that's roughly the 588 because my lambda for one year, as we've seen above, is 588. And remember, our calculator always gives us everything below the line, so in my final step I'm going to need to do a 1 minus. So some people like to show that all in one step here, 1 minus, whatever that is. So 1 minus, let's figure out what that's going to be. You'll notice I'm in PD, so I need to exit and get back to CD. And now I'm going to have 60 and 58, 588, sorry. And here it's telling me zero. That that's ridiculous. You're going to have way more than 60. So what they're saying here is that my probability is essentially zero. So one minus zero is essentially one. This is basically saying it's almost a guarantee that you're going to see more than 60 whales in a year, if on average you see 588 of them. So it's almost a certainty. What is the probability of less than 40 whales in one month? So here I have to watch my lambda again. Lambda for a month, well, that's going to be 588 for a year divided by how many months in a year, which is 12. That will give me that number. And I need less than 40, so if I have 41, 40, 39, 38 as possible options, Less than 40 does not include it. Dot is always to the left of the line. This is Poisson. And I'm going to have a range of values there. And here I'm going to put in 39, comma, 58 divided by 12. So I can just put that straight in here again. So less than 40 is 39. My average there is 588 divided by 12 calculate it. Oops, go back to that. That was actually works out to be a nice number, 49. And here we found that we had 0 0.08376. So I don't need to do a 1 minus in this case because the calculator always looks for everything below the line and that's what I've got. So that's my final answer. Remember 
we figured out what it was for a month, my lambda was for a month, by dividing the year by 12, and that's the number that went in there. Last example here. What's the probability of more than 700 whale sightings in six months? So I need to match my lambda for six months. Well, if I started with 588 in a year, how many times do I get six months in a year? That's two. That's only half the year. So I'll be able to use that. More than 700, well, if we did 699, 700, 701, more than 700 whale sightings. It's definitely more than 700. So my dot is to the left of the line. Again, this is going to be a range of values starting at 700 with my lambda. So let's go straight in here. I am in CD, which is what I need to be in. 700. And here I've got 588 divided by 2. Gives me 294. And you go ahead and press enter. I get a probability that says 1. Now, that's again saying that it's so close to 1, we might as well call it 1. And this is for the probability <coughs> of seeing more than, so I need to catch myself here. Remember, the calculator always calculates everything under the line. So that 1 is down here. So essentially, I need to do a 1 minus that answer. So 1 minus 1 equals 0. Effectively, they're saying actually, the probability of seeing more than 700 whales in six months is basically zero. If you only see 580 in a year, you're not likely to see more than 700 in half that time. So watch that again. Here I'm looking for everything below the line, so I do the one minus of whatever I found, and that's saying zero. It's not likely to happen.